everybody, let's do an unboxing. Let's see what's in here. I haven't even opened this up yet, so I'm still kind of curious at all, too. The new, well, not so new. It's been out for a while. There's a lot of guys been using it already, but for me, the new Mind Lab Man Horror. Look at all that nice. I mean, that, that is a nice box, man. Awesome graphics on there. Uh, multi IQ again. Let's see what's in here. It would have been awesome if they would have had it the other way, huh? But that's good. Cool. Let's see what's in here. I haven't even opened this up, guys. So, uh, what do we got here? <clears throat> Got your super fancy arm cuff. This is man whore. Pretty nice. Look at that. Oh, it's called a manticore. I thought it was called a man whore. Okay, never mind. Mm, quality, let's see. Very plasticky. But they do have a little bit of cushion in here arm strap is really nice almost reminds me of like the ctx real real thick um, band but only time will tell we'll give this a good test run on the beach not going to be making a video of all these um different tests what machine can do this and that uh let's we'll just get out and hunt and use it i think all those test videos take all the fun out of it to be honest with you because everybody's uh, area is different. Um, yeah, nice coil. Check that out. Curious to, I'm kind of curious to wondering if this is gonna cause more drag in the water. Mm. I don't know. Time will tell. And like mine, they always do like an awesome epoxy job on this. And they reinforce it, all the grooves. Nice. It's all reinforced there. Uh, okay. Let's see what this coil weighs. I got my scale here. Here. So the coil weighs one pound. This is 2.9. Let's just call it three. One. Super light, man. Awesome. That's going to feel good. Swing on the beach. CTX coil is really light, also, too. All right. So, what else we got in here? Got some instructions on how to, how to tells you how to turn it on and all that stuff. Nice. Oh, and you got your fancy uh, screen protectors. Okay. I think I lost all my Equinox ones last time. But yeah. And then you got this paperwork. This comes with all the mine labs. Just the specs on the machine. Oh, yeah, it's a fold out one. Okay, so quick start. Turn on. Hmm, that makes sense, right? Select search mode, noise cancel, go detecting. Hey, that sounds easy to me, right? Um, there's all your search modes all terrain, beach, gold field. General, let's zoom in a little bit here. All terrain, general, fast, low conductors, high conductors, trash reject, beaches, general, low conductors, deep, surf and water, and then Goldfield. Well, that's if anybody ever uses it. 
Probably use it on the beach though. Dry sand. What else? <clears throat> Assembly. Charging. Seven to eight hours. Wow. Headphones. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. It's important to read though the controls and display. That way you can understand your mapping. Target ID scale, so it kind of has a target. Okay, it does have a target trace just like the CTX. All right, cool. I'm familiar with that. Mm, that's pretty much it. So they're probably going to have one of those famous uh, metal detecting guys, you know, auto make a book and autograph it for you and all that fun stuff. But that's all, uh, that's all overhype if you ask me. Charger, like the Equinox charger. Uh, I think we already know what this is. The case is nice though. This is like a neoprene case. Not fabric. It, yeah, it has like a nice neoprene feeling to it. I like the Mind Lab logo they did. Almost has like that Alien vs. Predator kind of feeling to it. <laughs> That movie, if you're a fan of that. Oh, dang. Okay, right off the bat. These are way better than the Equinox um, headphones. I don't know if the new Equinox 900 and... Um, and... 700 come with these headphones but these are nice these almost remind me of the sdc 2300 headphones really nice like feel to them hmm. awesome yeah they make nice products man mm, careful of this right here that right there looks like that would fall off easy and you got your Plus minus buttons, your power button, probably your sync button. Yeah, just like the STC 2300, they have that that clip that locks in. Cool. There's your fancy connector. Yeah, these remind me exactly like STC 2300. Yeah, do a little clickety clickety and you're in to go. There you go. I like that they lock also. So if anybody tries to take your headphones, you can't get them. They can't get them. But yeah, there you go. All right. <clears throat> Put that to the side. What else came in here? Like I said, I, never, I don't really do unboxing, but, you know, just trying to show everybody what comes in here. You got your instructions. The ML105s. Okay, cool. They actually have a name. Um, I'd imagine this is the charger cable for the headphones. Ah, USB-C. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. I, I, like, I like it like this right there. Because you can charge your GoPros, you can charge your um, other devices, laptop maybe with this, all that other stuff, universal. All right, let's put that to the side. And what else we got here? And then just the control, the control pod. This almost looks like the Telenox. Um, you got your little slidey slidey action. And I, I do like how they re-engineered re, uh, this, they reverse engineered. Only time will tell, but right off the bat, this feels kind of, I don't know, it's supposed to have play, you know, movement, it can't be too rigid, but, mm, not too bad. I'm going to put it together and then we'll turn it on and kind of just go through the menu. Okay, well, that's cool. Check this out, how they engineered this. Okay, 
get the little slidey slidey action and then when you are ready to get your adjustment you just lock it down like a ctx kind of deal and you can't it only goes on one way oh i guess it goes on both ways okay it's your preference And there you go. Lock it in. Nice and tight, man. Yeah, let's see. That was pretty good. Yeah, nice strap. It doesn't feel cheap. Which is great. Pretty cool, huh? How they reverse engineered that. So, you know what that means? A lot less coils are gonna have to replace. It's probably cheaper for them just to replace this loader shaft. Which is probably, I hope they patented that so nobody else robs their idea, but that's, that's genius if you ask me. But uh, when those threads do strip out, I guess you could retap them. Hmm. It's kind of like the vanquish a little bit. Okay. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm not sure. I guess you could use just a regular um, nut and bolt. But you see the spacing here, they left it really tight. So I don't think you'll be able to feed another bolt here on this side. If you want to just use like your old Equinox bolts. Um, very tight spacing here. Not bad. Real stiff right here. So that's awesome. It's not going to get knocked around too much by the waves. All right, let's keep going on this. All right, so it's all put together. Um, let's check out the weight. What does it weigh all put together now? Hopefully we'll better see this on camera. Uh, wait, it says two pounds, 14.6, almost three pounds it weighs. Um, hmm. Almost three pounds, okay, not bad. And then also, might not even tell you about this right here secret compartment where you can hide all your gold rings right there i think that's for a weight counterweight i think you can, I think you can just drop a rod in here to give you some counterbalance and everything all right <clears throat> we'll get it turned on here in a minute uh one thing i did forget was let's measure lots uh, hold it up here That right there is good. That right there. So you're looking at about roughly two foot two, two foot one and a half, whatever you want to call it. But that's it. That's it folded up right there. So you can definitely throw it in the backpack for sure. Um, if you want to shorten it up a little bit more, just, you know, take this off. And you'll shorten it up about, you know, roughly about five inches, four inches. 
put together on the beach. But yeah, other than that, looks like about two foot one, two foot one and a half when it's folded up. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.